Good morning and welcome to Twin Pine Auto Sales. My name is Jason Young. Today we're sitting inside a 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer and I want to talk to you a little bit about the radio and some of the options that are available to you. You know, a lot of us take it for granted anymore, but cars and especially the radio and the sound systems are, are loaded with different options and features that really make your uh, listening uh, much more pleasurable. So I wanted to kind of talk to you about that uh, for a few minutes here. Hopefully the glare isn't too, too bad on this, but uh, the one thing I wanted to talk to you about is right now we're just listening to a um, like an easy listening station. Some of the things that you can do, though, uh, there's, you see this tune button over here. It says sound. Um, when you press that, there's a few different things here. This particular car has a uh, Rockford Fosgate subwoofer in the back, so that's your sub punch button. From that, you can, you can uh, scale it back and forth uh, and just kind of go between the two. Um, some of the things that you would probably want to do, um, you know, if you're listening to something with more of a hip hop or, or R&B feel, you'd want to, you know, turn that, uh, sub up so that you kind of get the, uh, uh, the sensation of a little bit more bass. Um, so go ahead and, and we'll push that again. The next option that's to you there is the different types of music that you can listen to. Uh, it's country, pop, rock hip-hop, and that doesn't mean that you're going to be listening to those kinds of music, but what it simply means is, is your radio is going to take that and it's going to turn the particular station that you're listening to, um, to, to to a different kind of sound. The normal, you can leave it right there on normal, and that's um, that's that's good for, um, here, let's turn that, normal. That would be good for uh, pretty much all different types of music. If you turned it on to, um, oh, let's go back. Here, I'm going a little too quick, but um, you turn it on to pop. Um, that's pretty much a really tight bass and high frequency sounds. If you turn it on to rock, you're going to get uh, hard rock, and it's going to have a lot more focus on the drums and the guitars and things like that. Um, if you turn it on to hip hop, it's really um, it'll focus on the 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 bass and uh, and and the vocals, and then country is just going to simply you're not going to hear as much of the instruments. You'll hear a lot more of uh, of vocals. Um, you can press it again. The different types of fields that are available to you. You get um, a stage, and what that means is it's um, all the sound that's right up in here. It'll be almost just so that it's it's a sensation that's right in front of your face, as if you were sitting in a in a, in a seat at a concert and and listening to somebody. Um, I'm trying to think here. What else? Let me uh, go back. Go back to that. Um, you get a, a normal, and that's just for this particular for this Rockford Fosgate audio. That would probably be the one that you would want to use the most. Um, sorry, guys. Um, let's see here. Concert hall. That's a really, really cool one. And play, imagine you're sitting on a sound stage. Um, the reflections are added to the rear speakers to simulate the experience of being in a concert hall. Um, it's best probably with uh, if you're listening to classical music or vocalist music. And then the last one that would be on there um, would be uh, a live. And so what that really does is it, uh, especially the people sitting in the front seat, are kind of surrounded by um, sound from the, both the front and rear speakers. The one other thing that you can do here that is uh, a really cool feature is you can press and hold this button for two seconds, and then you see SVC on or S yeah SCV on, and that is your speed sensitive audio. You can either choose to turn it on or off. When you leave it on, though, one of the things that's nice to you is it's speed sensitive. So as you're sitting out of traffic, as you come to a stop at a traffic light, your your audio automatically knows that. You don't need to have it that that loud, so your volume goes down. Now, as you start to accelerate, the car starts to make noise. The road, you know, begins to uh, you begin to hear the little bit of the road noise. Well, your volume goes up. Really nice feature there that you have. And um, so the next time you just go to sit inside your radio or sit inside your car, um, make sure that you're you have your radio and uh, to the op optimal levels that allow you to get the most out of uh, your listening. Um, to music on your drive. 
Hey, once again, I hope this has been helpful. My name is Jason. Thanks so very much for the time you spent with me. Take care.